What's up guys, the snowman here back explaining another football league today. It's the Campeonato Brasileiro Serie A or the Brazilian Serie A for short. Please check out my other Football League Explained videos too if you're interested. I've done leagues like the Premier League, the Bundesliga, MLS, Liga MX, and more. Uh, again, today though, all about Brazilian football, how their top league is set up, the teams, the schedule, and everything regarding their format. The Brazilian Serie A is a men's professional football league in Brazil. It sits at the top of the Brazilian football league system and is the country's primary football competition. It's one of the strongest leagues in the world, certainly uh, one of the best and the most watched football league in the Western Hemisphere. Founded back in 1959, you'd be hard-pressed to find a more passionate and fervent fan base than the one of the Brasileiro. And this is a quick look at the Brazilian Football League system. It's a super simplistic structure. Some countries have complicated names for their leagues, but Brazil is easy. We've got leagues A, B, C, and D. Serie A at the top of the pyramid. Those are the best 20 clubs in Brazil. As you can see, it does operate on a system of promotion and relegation with Campeonato Brasileiro Serie B. So the four worst teams from Serie A are relegated every year to Serie B. Likewise, the top four teams from B move up to A every season. The teams are constantly shifting and changing from year to year. And then we have Serie C. So uh, A, B, and C all with 20 clubs each. Four more clubs moving up and down each season between B and C. And then Serie D, a little bit different than the top three leagues. For a day, we have 64 teams divided into eight groups of eight with the top four clubs or the semifinalists moving up to say each year. There is no relegation in Serie D, although there are several state championship divisions below these four professional levels. Let's get into the format now of the Brazilian Serie A, a very similar format to most of the top leagues in Europe. The schedule is a little different in Brazil. They play their season from May to December, but otherwise it's very similar to leagues like the Premier League or La Liga. We've got 20 clubs and they all play each other twice, once at home and once on the road. We call this a double round robin format. Teams receive three points for a win, one point for a draw, and zero points if they lose. At the end of the season, once every team has played all 38 games, the team with the most points will be crowned the champion. This is an example of how the table or the standings looked for the 2022 season. You can see that Palmeiras was the champion. They accumulated 81 points in their 38 games. That was the most of any team in the top division, but the uh, 20 clubs in Serie A are battling for other things as well. For example, you you can see that the top eight clubs in green finished high enough in the table to qualify for the Copa Libertadores, either in the group stage or the second stage. The Copa Libertadores is kind of like the UEFA Champions League equivalent in South America, so that's a big continental competition. If you want more info on that tournament, please check out my Copa Libertadores Explained video. Teams in positions 9 through 14 qualify for the following season's Copa Sudamericana competition, which is the second tier continental competition in South America. And then those red teams at the bottom, the four clubs from 17 through 20, were all relegated to Serie B for 2020. So really there's a lot to play for. It's not just the Serie A title that's up for grabs every year. One game can make all the difference. And a quick look at the teams that have won the most Brazilian Serie A championships as of the start of the 2023 season. Palmeiras, the team with the most titles at 11. Then Santos, Corinthians, Flamengo, and Sao Paulo rounding out the top five. Those are some of the clubs with the richest history in Brazil. To wrap up, these are some other competitions that clubs from Serie A compete in every year. We have the Copa do Brasil. That's the annual cup competition for Brazilian clubs. 92 teams from different levels in Brazil compete every year. It's essentially the FA Cup or Copa del Rey equivalent. The Supercopa do Brasil, which is a one-off match contested by the winner of Serie A and the winner of the Copa do Brasil. The champ there adding an extra trophy to the trophy case. And then I already mentioned both the Copa Libertadores and the Copa Sudamericana. These are continental competitions that uh, clubs from all all over South America, not just Brazil, compete in for continental supremacy. The Copa Libertadores is the big prize, with the Copa Sudamericana being the second level or the UEFA Europa League equivalent in South America. Thank you so much for watching my Brazilian Serie A Explained video. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. Uh, let me know what you thought. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. And if you want more soccer and football informational videos, please subscribe to the Snowman Sports Media for more. Thanks a lot. Cheers.